What's up, YouTube? Thanks for coming back to see just what I do today. Now, if you're new to this channel and just happen to click on this, stick around. You might like what I've got going on. I post twice a week. The videos on Tuesday range from cooking to gardening to DIY projects. And Friday videos are always my vacation slash trip videos. So you see a lot of where we go and uh, Little Daisy Adventures. If you don't know who Daisy is, she's one of my dogs. I have eight of them. Now, if you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. My goal is to hit 100 subscribers by the end of the year. It's harder than you think, but I'm slowly getting there. But anyways, let's get into this video. You're wondering why we're sitting here in front of all those uh, tomato plants. Now these are my self-wicking buckets. I just thought I'd show you before we completely get into this video that, uh, that these buckets do work. See, those are the buckets. And those are the tomatoes and my pepper plants. They've gotten that big. They're doing really good. That's not what these, these, uh, this video is about. Click on this video because it's called Supporting My Melon. Now let me go down below. I'll show you from here real quick. Get to it. Back there is my watermelon plant. Now it's called a yellow watermelon because the meat on the inside is yellow. Now I'm having a hard time keeping the stupid grasshoppers off all my stuff because as you can see, they're chewing some holes on some of my leaves 
That's what all that is. It's not the green hornworm yet. I keep watching for those. Those come from the white butterflies. Or from butterflies, whatever. I'll show those later. Anyways, I'm having trouble keeping the grasshoppers off everything. They already ate all my gooseberries. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. Um, let me go down below and I'll show you what we're going to do today. Okay, we are down below now and as you can see right there, I have a really decent sized watermelon. Now you clicked on this video because it's called supporting my melons. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going, as you can tell, that that vine is kind of just hanging on the edge right there. And I don't want it to pop the vine and not get as big as it should. Now I do have other watermelons on here. Let's see. There's one right there. There's another one right there. And there's a couple more up above, but right now, that one is my biggest one, so I want to keep it going as long as possible and keep the grasshoppers off of it, and we are going to support it. Now, what are we going to support it with? You saw it in the thumbnail? That right there. I wanted something soft and stretchy, and you know, that would bear the weight of a watermelon. So I am going to use knee-high pantyhose. They're like 76 cents at Walmart. So. Let's uh, dippity do this and support my melon. And of course, I've got my little helper out here. He's sitting there being a good boy. You just saw Nellie, she's running around being a little butt as usual. So, as you can see, I've got one of the pantyhoses out. Knee high pantyhose. Yeah. Got one of those out. Now, all that we're going to do is tie it from uh, one porch railing another, make sure it goes under it, lift it up a bit, it helps support it, and hopefully it can keep growing until it gets rather on the big side. Now these yellow watermelons aren't supposed to be giant, they are supposed to about double in that size. I'm just doing this so it wouldn't pop the vine, and I wanted something soft and stretchy. That's why I chose Penny House. So let's tie this up and support the melon. Okay, I've got it all tied up there. Now the only thing left to do is to get that melon right there and set it somewhat in the middle of the penny hose. Hopefully this works out well. Okay, you know, slight snag, had to change things up. As you can see there, my melon is now nicely supported. I had to go get some nails and put a nail right there and then one right there, rather than tying it, because tying it was making it too skinny. And I needed it to lay flat to hold on to the melon. But there we go, now my melon's supported. I'll probably end up doing that to some of the other ones, just to make sure they don't pop the vine. Now, 
This is the biggest watermelon I've ever grown. So I'm trying to, you know, keep it going for as long as possible. So earlier you saw me uh, feeding the chickens, letting the chickens out. I was hoping I was gonna be able to uh, put them all back together again because you know I've had the ducks separated. And ass butt is being an ass. He's forgotten how to behave with chickens, so he's separated by himself again, and Jerkface and Quackers are the only ducks out with the chickens right now. Um, the only reason why they are is because, if you notice, the color on their head isn't quite as bright as it used to be. That's because mating season is almost over for them. They use that bright color to attract a mate. And on ass butt, yes, that's the other duck's name, his head is still bright green, so I think he has to be by himself for a little bit longer till he learns how to behave with the other chickens and stop attacking them. They can get pretty aggressive, but that's what you saw at the beginning of the video. And there's my melon, all supported. That's what this video was about, was supporting my melons. Thought it was funny. But thanks for watching, if you watched all the way to the end here. I greatly appreciate it, it helps me out a lot. So, that's gonna conclude this video. My melon's all supported there. So, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post. Hit that like button too if you liked this video. If you didn't like that this video, hit the thumbs down button then. I don't care, I'm just glad to get someone watching. So thanks for watching Just What I Do Today. Again, please subscribe, ring that notification bell, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below on how you think I did and what you think of this video. And please stay tuned for more uh, daycation videos on Fridays and miscellaneous videos on Tuesdays because I post twice a week. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time on Just What I Do.